Hey, what's up guys? Another video here. This one kind of relating to things I've been dealing with in my life right now, and it's uh, setbacks in general. Uh, whether it's injury or um, work related or anything that's keeping you from achieving your fitness goals at the moment. Um, I'm actually kind of dealing with both. Had a pretty busy week at work where I had to work a lot of overtime and I wasn't able to get to the gym um, the few times I wanted to this week and I was you know, pretty frustrated with that. And then also self-diagnosed tricep tendonitis. So I've like not done any kind of push day, no triceps or chest, or and I've been lim limited on shoulder workouts. So um, yeah, it, it's uh, you're really tempted to you know do that stuff. You know you don't want to miss out a few weeks and fall behind on your progress and. So it's very hard, you know, I find it for myself and I know other people too. Um, you just gotta, but you gotta remember like, you don't wanna re-injure it. That's, I've definitely dealt with that in the past. I had a neck issue uh, that lingered for a long, met like years. And I would just keep going and I was, you know, I was younger and I didn't, uh, oh, I'm invincible. I don't, I don't care about injury. I can work through it. And, um, it finally, it took me a couple years and like some physical therapy to actually get through that and fix it permanently. So, um, yeah, I would do not, if it's, if something's bothering you, listen to your body and give it rest, uh, give it time to heal, use ice and heat, stretching, physical therapy. That's, I'm going to plug physical therapy here if you're able to afford it it's a great option i've i've had to do it twice for two different reasons i've uh rolled my ankle a while ago playing basketball have had I had issues with weak ankles before and uh completely fixed haven't had an issue since and also my neck um uh, great option if you have that available for you but as far as injuries go yeah, you need to give it a few weeks, depending on the severity of the injury. You know, if you break your leg, it's obviously way different. But um, just like a minor kind of uncomfortable feeling here, I know it's gonna take. I, I've read up to six weeks, so you you gotta listen to your body, give it time to heal, so you don't re-injure, and then you'll be out longer. So, um, what can you do while you're kind of out and not and not doing? the lifts you want to. Uh, I always like say, do a lot of stretching, try to increase or lim lower the time you're out and try to get back as soon as possible. Um, so like, yeah, what I just said, like the uh, rehabilitation phase of it, like heating, icing, stretching, resting, do a lot of that, focus on that for that muscle group. And then while also I'm, uh, you know, you can still, if for me, the arm, I can still do legs, so I've been focusing pretty hard on improving my legs. And then finally, like when you're trying to get back, uh, back into, you know, say triceps or chest for me, you don't want to just go back to the, the weight you were using. Um, I'm definitely going to go weight. I'm definitely have lost strength, you know, for taking a couple months off. Um, and with my work my work lately where I've had to miss a lot of time at the gym I've had a, I've brought a journal with me to the gym I write down kind of a baseline I got I went lighter weight kind of a little bit more reps and I wrote that down and I'm planning on like doing uh, a couple sessions say of chest when I get back into it at a low weight then after that if I feel comfortable and if it's, if it's feeling good add five pounds add 10 pounds maybe depending on the lift uh for the next week uh and then just kind of just grow from there keep a, a journal of it so that's kind of the idea of working back into it not rushing yourself and not pulling any other muscle or re-injuring hope that's helpful i know a lot of people have to deal with this at the gym it's uh it's kind of just you know you have to balance life and uh you know your gains and a muscle growth at the same time so it's a it's a difficult process that i think everyone deals with and very important to address once in a while so 
Thanks for watching. I'll have more content coming soon. To stay up to date, please subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.